No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, oh. let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Hmm, produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list.
Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? He's dead. Oh, God. Scott? Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. I'm almost finished. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. Your partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! If you're not gonna help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I 
I'll do it on my own. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Laura! once again in my arms. 